Arrow, everyone. I'm on the last seal. Walrus. Whatever you want to call it. Just gotta kill these guys. Fortunately, I have some... Lightning resist is the only kind of resist I have right now. And now we got some Diablo about to spawn. I found this is going to die before it even comes out, isn't it? So let's go, Diablo. We meet again. How about this time you let me kill you like you did last time? That would be fun for me. And that would be awesome for everyone. <laughs> I outran his blast field. That is not the coolest thing ever. I'm not quite sure what is. What I need to do is do what I did last time, lure him down here. Ooh, dropped a unique. And get the phalanx train going on him. Where all those arrows go right into him. He's actually, this is going a lot easier than I thought it would, to be honest. Uh, when I was having all that trouble in like the outer steps and all that that place, I was starting to think, you know, maybe I'm not ready for Diablo. And I get here, and he's just a punk. Thinks he's cool because he's like the main boss. The game's named after him. But uh, in reality, he's a scrub. <laughs> he heard me say that. Either that, or I just didn't run away and I was playing less cautious. Cool, Diablo bug stuff's hitting me that I can't see. I could explain why that happens, but I don't want to. Okay, okay, basically when something happens off screen and then you run on screen, it doesn't start showing the animation yet. Which... is fun to abuse in some ways, an old Diablo. Ooh, that is actually something I might use to wear. I was about to tell a story, but... Oh, no, that's melee only. Type stuff. Where you be, Diablo? Run away, run away, run away, run away. Don't want to die again. Give him the satisfaction. But in For Reals Diablo, PvP uh, is quite more popular, more well-balanced than it is here. And um, there are some skills that you can kind of throw out and they stay there for a while and just like sort of burn the ground like Fisher for Druid. And if somebody goes back to heal to Kara while they're, they're dueling, because you duel right outside the town on Act 1, you can put Fishers or Blizzards right outside and when they come back from a Kara, they'll be invisible because they were off it was off their screen and their game wasn't drawing it yet which ow that did way more damage than I thought it would yay useless pretty much really really cheap tactic in PvP you know guarding town which is very not honorable where are you Diablo pretty sure he started running but uh, then again pub D2 nobody had any honor so it was all cool. There you are. Do you want to die? You're so cute. I could just hug you if you weren't so spiky. Stop running. God damn. I don't... I really wish that the bosses wouldn't do that. Especially Mephisto. Some characters, like if you're melee only... And Mephisto gets in this mood where she has to run. There's a couple areas in Act 3 where um, she can like run over the moats and melee characters won't be able to hit her and it's, it's incredibly frustrating. So... Nope. For whatever reason they do that, I wish they didn't do that. Come, I was just gonna go for the kill said, you know what, I might die if I stay here, but he's gonna die any second, I'll just go for it. Didn't work. Let's go, Diablo! Stop being a bitch! You gotta have them fight your battles for you, huh? You ain't even come near me? 
as expected. Just like Bale, watching other monsters try and kill me. Cause you ain't got the balls. I bet these are hitting him. No? Yes? He's dead. There we go. And he dropped a lot of junk. I want to wait for these things to die out, though. Before I run up there and oogle it all. Blackguard. Ow! Why is there a fire blood on his corpse? That was unexpected. I'm just going over there to look at the items. Diablo planned for this, didn't he? They are a pretty cool monster. One, two, three, Dogma of Terror, which is not relevant yet, but it is useful for an endgame mini quest where you combine all the dogmas from the bosses and it gives you a bonus. I think it's an extra skill, maybe... Yeah, I think it's extra skills. But cool! I got some uniques out of it. <laughs> Act 4 is finally done. I feel like I've been on this for an incredibly long time. Thank God. Oh, and Tyrael. I never even talked to him before. I got my two skills from Isual. I knew there was potential in you too, Decker Gain. Identify this shit for me. Do something useful. Old bastard. Hero Act 5. I'm entering Hogwarts right now. And I need to get something from Laz... Lazabaza. This guy is named Laz? Oh, Larzuk. Never mind. I got confused. You're not Laz. Oil of Disjunction? That's what I need. It's gonna be the first time I'm doing this. I think it's just oil. And bow. Transmute. Yep, takes all the runes out of it. Which is good because uh, the items that Diablo dropped enabled me to get another arcane crystal. And I'm just gonna stick with this bow. Because it seems like the easy thing to do. And... Shaboink. Ah, oh, that was not smart. I should have thought about that. 570. How much do I have? 438 dexterity. Hmm. I'm going to solve this. Uh, with a lot of IO runes, which give bonus to dexterity. I've been saving up amethyst, bonus to dexterity. And I could easily pull this out. Hold on. Yeah, so I got it working. I uh, pumped this full of dexterity stuff, plus 25% bonus to dexterity. And I had some of those charm uh, jewels, which reduced requirements that I stuck in here, and it was no problem. Dealing uh, 7,800 damage now with Bloodlust on. So that's pretty good. And I'm not going to show you very much of Act 5, except for the, the beefy parts, which... Um, ancients are going to be easy to kill, no lie. It's going to give me one level when I kill Ancients, but it's going to be easy. And then I guess w the only thing I'm going to show you from Act 5 is Bail. However, I'm level 74 and I still need to do my need challenge. That's also going to be off camera. I kind of explained that. Level 80 is when that charm takes effect. I guess I'll show it to you when I actually have it though. So, catch you guys later. I got to do that. And, yeah, bye. I said it and then it happened. Let me show you this really quickly. Amazon only. Uh, Sacred Sunstone. Can be upgraded with the need challenge, which I'm about to complete right now. Can be upgraded with the Black Road challenge, which comes much later. Max skill level increased by one. The max skill level is 20, right? 20. And then, um, so that'll increase that over what the typical maximum is. Also, for the limit of, you know, you can't put that many points into something until you reach a certain level, it increases that, so I'll be able to put more points into things. But with the need challenges, you just take a, what's my worst jewel? There you go. You cube it with a jewel before level 80 and it unlocks my need skill and gives me 15% more max life, poison length reduced. It's different for every character what the bonuses you get are, but what the need skill is is on the first tree here. All of these are unlocked at level 90. Is this thing level 90? Oh, it's 90, not 80. My bad. Uh, so at level 90 it unlocks the ability to get these skills. This one is uh, your need skill. That's a new one. I don't know what that does yet. Um, looks like it'd be pretty cool. 
Um, and then you have to choose one of these three. You can only have one of these three skills at a time. The one I'm going to be getting is... They're all actually really good for Zahn. Spirit of Vengeance is something that's... You summon a creature that summons more reanimates, so it makes a very, very good meat shield. Very good for Zahn. Paragon, the amount of gems that you have in your armor or whatever, each gem you have increases your vitality by a certain amount. And this last one is Curare, which just straight up adds poison damage, which is my personal favorite. Overall, to be honest, Spirit of Vengeance probably is a better choice, but I'm going glass cannon style. I just want to do as much damage as I possibly can. Curare does insane damage as it gets to higher levels though it's difficult to increase that damage with uh, items because it is a passive poison skill. And they act a little bit differently than regular poison skills, so plus percent to poison damage does not affect it in any way. And that was a big explanation about skills. I'm gonna go back to trying to complete Act 5 or whatever the heck I was doing. So, I was going up the hills and I remembered uh, there is something else I need to do, which is, hold on, let me show you this really quickly. I need to make a summoning book, or a book of, lo uh, sum book of summoning, that's what it is. Uh, what you need is three sacrificial hearts and three mediation candles. If you look in here, they cost 22500 each. So they're quite expensive, but selling stuff from the Bloody Foothills right now is pretty awesome. Like, some of the items were selling for 20000 so it wasn't too difficult to get that all together. You put all of them in the cube. And hold on. Spam! Book of Summoning. Plus one to Dark Summoning. Which enables you to do Summoning Ubers. Oh, I should have done this a while ago. But actually, it's not incredibly important until uh, Destruction. But there is one thing that you can do with it in Terror. Terror. I'm going to call it Terror from now on. Um, I have to go to the Lost City. And bear with me for a second.